G'day everybody, Nick Dingle here again for another Microsoft Word tutorial. This time around we're going to be looking at four different functions of the file menu. We're going to be looking at new, open, save and save as. Not in that order, but anyway. Quickly a little bit of background information. I've just opened up a document I wrote sometime last year about game development. And um, realistically, I've saved this document before. I know where it is and I may want to make some changes to it. So we're going to use all those features to show you those four functions. So you're going to find these four functions up here in the file menu. Now, when I click on this, it's going to open a whole new window and it's going to make it look like my documents disappeared. However, you'll notice that the name at the top of the screen does not change when I click between file and this back arrow. That means that no, my document is not closing at this point. So I'm just going to click on file and we're going to have a look down here. Here are our four options on the left hand side. We've got new, open, save and save as. And this, when you click on one of these options, this big window in the middle here is going to change to different things, depending on which one you click on. Now it's defaulted to info. It's got information about the document. That's about it really. I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, one thing that I will tell you, explain first, I should say, is the difference between a save and a save as. And a lot of new users to programs like this actually don't know the difference. And I see a lot of kids always clicking the save as button when they're saving their work. Now, a quick difference before. Save will only save any changes you made to the document without prompting you. And a save as will always ask you where you want to save the file and what name you want to give it. So basically, if you have never ever saved the document before, the save and the save as function are exactly the same. They're both going to ask you where to want to save and both ask you what the name of the document is going to be. However, once you have saved at least once, save will update any changes in your file and save as will basically make a copy of your file if you would like to do that. So let me quickly demonstrate that just now. So if I come back to my document and I add something here, okay, if I go back to file and click save, okay, I want you to watch the screen down where my cursor is when I click the save button. It's going to go back to the document and there'll be a little prompt where it said word is saving. And that's it. The document is saved. Any changes are kept. If I close the document now, I won't lose a single thing. However, if I try the save as function, you'll see I get a prompt here in the middle and it's asking me where do you want to save the file. Now I can actually save this in a couple of locations and I briefly mentioned this before, but I want to talk about this in more detail. OneDrive. If you've never heard of OneDrive before, it is a place for you to store your files on your computer and on the web. And the reason you would do that is if you have multiple computers, let's say you have a computer here at home, you have a computer at work, and maybe you have a laptop as well that you use to go around places. What you do is you save your files in your OneDrive folder, and those if you have OneDrive folders on all of your computers at work and on your laptop, this one file will be kept on all computers and they'll keep the exact same version. So it's really good synchronizing, it's called, your files between your computers and keeping it on the web as well. So if you ever lose it or need to access it on your phone, you can do that. To do to save in the OneDrive, it's just like saving in a normal folder. You can simply click the Browse button and it'll open up your OneDrive folder and then you can just name it and save it inside that folder. Now, give it a second to open up. Here we go. So all I would need to do now is either make a folder. Please don't click on one of these icons down on the left hand side. What you want to do is stay within the folder that it's just given you. All right, so I can go inside documents and then I can save here. Give it a few seconds. And that document is now saved within my OneDrive folder. It'll synchronize between all my OneDrive computers. Now, Let's say I don't want to do that. I want to save it in a different location. Let's go save as again. And this time I'm going to click on computer. And you'll see it's got all the recent folders that I've saved in. This is all the places that I've been working. Now I don't tend to use OneDrive. I'll just quickly note I tend to use Dropbox for most of my stuff. Okay, I just always have. Now let's say for instance that I want to save it in the same folder that it originally came from, which was this one right here. And let's say there's the original file there. Let's say I don't want to save over the top and I want to make a copy of it. So it's lesson one, version two. And save. Okay, 
and let's just have a quick look. I'm not going to save again, but you'll see it's kept both documents. This will be the old version. This will be the new version. There's absolutely nothing different about them, really, except for there might be different changes in version 2. And if I change version 2, it's not going to change this one here. All right. And then finally, save as, you can add new places, like SharePoint. If you don't know what that is, don't stress about it, but it can be very, very handy. And you can add another OneDrive place as well. Anyway, that's save and save as. So if I click save now, any changes are simply going to be saved to the, v, the version 2 document that I've made. All right. And Bob's your uncle, that's done. The next option we should have a look at is our good old open function. If I click on that, all of my recent documents come up and very similarly to the save as I've also got OneDrive, computer and add a place. So things are starting to feel a little bit more consistent here. The save as and the open have the exact same sort of interface. So these are all documents that I've worked on in the past, so probably in the last five or six days, these ones. So let's say for instance that I want to open up the first version of my document. Well I can click on computer and I can either click on one of these current folders or I can just click the browse button at the bottom if it's not listed here. All right. Now it's actually already there because I've worked on it before and I can just click on this guy and click open. Now one thing I will say here, well there you go, it's opened the document but one thing it hasn't done is it has not closed the other one. So this is just the original version and there's version 2. So both of them are open at the exact same time. And that's pretty much it. That's all you really need to know about the open function. There's lots of different ways to open documents. That is probably the most traditional way of doing it. Finally, the new function is pretty straightforward. Okay, You click on new and you pick one of these templates that you would like to work from. If you'd like to have a blank document in portrait mode, or you'd like to have a blog post, or you'd like to have a student report, and so forth. Let's say I want single line display, um, single space, blank document. Click on that. Click create. That's it. Done. Or I can do that again. Let's do something a little bit more interesting. Let's go wedding checklist. Why not? Click create. Downloads the template, and there she is. Wow. Glad I've had my wedding because that's a crap load of stuff. But anyway, they're the simple functions of new, open, save, and save as. I hope I explained them well. Okay, if you ever don't want a document, let's say I'm not going to save this and I don't like it, I'm also going to show you the close function. Click on that and off they go. And I'm going to close them until I get back to version 2. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. Like, subscribe, comment down the bottom. The next video we're going to be looking at some more file functions just to cap it off and then we'll move on from there. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.